Helene, you uh, co-authored a book titled The Whole Food Guide to Breast Cancer Survivors. Can you talk about that a little bit and how that book came out? Well, um, I got particularly interested in this topic several years ago when I lost my dad. He died of lung cancer. And in the subsequent years, I lost um, an aunt and one of my dearest friends. So uh, that's what really got me very motivated to learn as much as I could about this mm -hmm. topic. And uh, I was uh, teaching then at a, at a school called Boma College, and the director of that school also had a very personal interest in cancer. And uh, I suggested we team up and do something about that, and the book is a result. Mm -hmm. How much work goes into something like that, research? Uh, a lot. There is years of research that goes into a project like this. Um, if you have taken a look at the book, you'll, you'll see that most of what we do is backed up by at least one or usually a lot more than, than one study. And so it takes a long time to go into PubMed and go mm -hmm. into the literature and really get a handle on what sort of research has been done on the topics you're looking at mm -hmm. and um, what kinds of hypotheses it, it supports. Mm -hmm. Talk about that research a little bit and let's start with the main risk factors of breast cancer. Do we have a good handle on what those are? I think we have a very good handle on what the risk factors mm -hmm. are for breast cancer. We don't know them all, sure. and there's certainly some genetic susceptibilities that come into play. But what the research is telling us more and more is that it's the, um, the what we call the terrain of the body that really uh, is what sets the stage. As somebody put it at, at this conference, Cancer Control Society, yesterday, you can load the gun, but you know something's got to pull the trigger. Mm -hmm. And um, so we're all kind of loading the gun with toxicity in our environment and with uh, physical and mental and emotional stress and with the standard American diet, which is highly, highly toxic to, mm -hmm. our, to our cells and to our um, met metabolism in general. So we're all loading the gun. Um, if we get into a situation where we become very inflamed or we have some kind of a triggering um, event, an inflammatory event, or it could be a, an emotional event, or sometimes it's an event that involves um, the teeth, a root canal, infection, mm. or something that pulls that trigger, um, that can actually you know, put us into, take the cancer cells that have kind of been quietly circulating around in our system and bring them into a more active state. When you talk about terrain, how much of a factor is diet? <laughs> well, I'm a nutritionist, so I think diet is virtually everything. Mm -hmm. um, obviously it's not because we've got environmental toxicities and then we've got uh, you know, physical uh, fitness level and we've got mental and emotional and, and spiritual health as well. But that said, I will say that you know, diet is is huge because diet is what goes in and out of us every single day and diet is not just fuel you know people think of diet as sort of like the fuel you mm. put in your car but it's a lot more than the fuel you put in your car it's also the leather seats and it's the steering wheel and it's the brakes and it's um, it's everything it's mm. the engine you know it's the radiator because the food that we put in becomes the building blocks of our cells it gets incorporated as raw materials for various parts of our body. So what we're eating is becoming our body. And if we're eating, um, for example, margarine, which is plastic, then our bodies are becoming plastic. 